Hm? Good morning, everybody. Lovely to be here filming for assemblies for you. I hope you're having a great week. We continue with our series on trust today. Our story focuses on Abraham and his son, Isaac. Abraham and his wife, Sarah, have waited a long time to have a child. God then asks Abraham to sacrifice his only son. We then see how Abraham puts his trust in God. So last week you saw how Jessica put her trust in me during an activity. For today's do task, I just want you to sit and think, over the last week, what have you trusted somebody else to do or, or say? Or how has somebody else put trust in you? Have a chat together now. I wonder what things you came up with. Sometimes we have to trust people who tell us to do things that don't always seem easy. Just like thinking about ways in which we trust others, sometimes it isn't as easy as it may sound. However, knowing a person can be trusted and that they care for us makes a big difference. The story today comes from the book of Genesis in the Bible, where we're going to meet a man who God asked to do something really, really hard. He trusted that God knew what he was doing and did what he asked, even though it wasn't easy. This man's name was Abraham and he had a son called Isaac. Life can be confusing, and it's then when it's very hard to trust. My name is Abraham, and one day I found myself on top of a mountain with a knife in my hand, and my son was tied to a stone altar. Best I can understand is a god had asked me to sacrifice my son to him, like you'd sacrifice an animal. It made no sense, no sense at all. It was God, after all, that had given me my son. I lived in the land of Ur, and I even then was an old man, an old man married to an old woman, but we had no children. Trust me, God had said, I want you to leave your homeland, go to another country, and I will make a great nation out of you, where you will have more children grandchildren and great-grandchildren than stars in the sky or sand on the seashore. Well, we trusted him and we followed him 
and we left our country and went to the land of Canaan. But a great nation to come from me required children, and we still didn't have any. Trust me, God said, and when I was a hundred, and my lovely wife Sarah was ninety, we received three visitors. Oh. Oh. Angelic visitors. And they said that Sarah, in one year's time, would have a baby. <laughs> well, she laughed. Boy, did she laugh. I mean, it seemed impossible. But true enough, in one year's time, little Isaac was born. And there we are. God's promises came true. Now a nation could come from me, a nation to bless the whole world. And little Isaac grew up and he became a boy and then he became a man. And it all made sense. And then God spoke to me. Abraham, he said, Take Isaac to the top of Mount Moriah and sacrifice him to me like you'd sacrifice an animal. Well, that didn't make any sense at all. I mean, neither, though, had been leaving our homeland or an ancient man and woman having a child. And yet we trusted God then. And however confusing it seemed, we have to trust him this time. Poor Isaac, he was so confused. We've got the fire, he said. We've got the wood, but where is the animal to sacrifice? Well, I didn't have the heart to tell him. God will provide the sacrifice, lad, was all I could say. And so I took Isaac up the mountain and I tied him to the stone altar and I took the knife and I raised it above his heart. I'll never forget the look in his eyes. And then... And then I saw an angel. Abraham. He said. Abraham, put down the knife. God has seen how much you trust him. So much so that you would sacrifice your only son for him. And that was it. God wanted to know that my trust was in him and not in the son that he'd given me. And then I saw a ram and its horns were caught in the thicket and I grabbed it. And I sacrificed it to God. And there we are. It was a sacrifice of thanks. Thanks that God was a God we could trust and thanks that somehow he trusted me. Today I want you to think about people that you trust. What makes them trustworthy? What is it about them? Maybe spend a few minutes thinking about this and discussing it with a partner or maybe with your class. Let's get ready to pray. Dear God, Thank you that you make us strong, that you are the firm ground under our feet, the safe place we can live. Thank you that we can run to you and that you will always protect us from anything that we find scary. Are you ready? Amen. So today we're going to end with our Giants of Faith song. I hope you have a really fantastic week and that the sunshine will continue. Take care, everybody. Bye. I don't need to run and hide When I open my 
Bible as clear as can be The God that I read about's with me And I'm gonna be a giant of faith Like Moses and Joseph Daniel, Esther, Rahab and Ruth No denying the truth The giants of faith and like David Elijah Giants of faith. Every day we always stick together. Giants of faith. By faith I can do anything. By faith I can do anything. By faith I can do anything. Giants of faith.